Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. So today I'm in a very good mood because first of all the weather is wonderful. It's one of the first really really nice sunny spring days, the temperature is high and today also it's a holiday here in Switzerland. Of course I had to work so I was working all day and I planned to go out for a walk with a friend but my plans were cancelled so I decided to film a video for you and I have a whole video so I made a huge cup of uh, iced coffee and today the theme as you see of the makeup and everything is blue and uh, I have quite a few bits most of the stuff are things that I saw during my last trip in Paris. I went to Paris for work, for a training school where I had to teach a workshop and I was organizing with some colleagues but uh, I found some time to do a bit of shopping. So this is a beauty haul. I also went to Disneyland for one day and I shopped some stuff there. I don't know if you would like to see a non-beauty video about that. I was thinking that I will make maybe a Disney haul post with some other bits also that I saw from Disney Store online. But today we are talking about beauty and I have a Sephora haul from Paris and a skincare pharmacy haul. But I also have a few bits that I saw at the airport in uh, London because a week before that I went to Leicester for a course and uh, I was uh, in Luton airport and uh, I saw one two bits the things that I have shown you in on Instagram or in videos with favorites I will not show you today but I saw two bits in London and I also shopped, um, I, I had a small Mariano order from Urban Decay and I'm just throwing that in. And it is by Origins, it's the Clear Improvement Active Charcoal Mask and I love this. This is maybe the fourth or the fifth cube I have bought. In the past, when I moved in Switzerland, you could find these at Douglas. Uh, but I don't think that you can find them anymore which is very very sad because I would like to try out other Origins products too but uh, when I was at the counter the thing that I instantly wanted to get was again one of these masks because it's been quite some time that I have used this and uh, I know that this is really really good for my skin and the other thing that I got was a product from Benefit. So I went to the Benefit stand. We, we do have Benefit here in Switzerland, but of course, I saw of Switzerland things are much cheaper. And I don't know if all the new stuff from Benefit, the new releases, have been available here. Also, I wanted to check them out and play with them and swatch them and not just order them online so I got the Dandelion Psy Beam so there is a whole small line with the releases from Benefit around the Dandelion Blast and uh, I love the blast it's a, I'm actually wearing the blast today over a cream one and uh, it's a very light pink shade I think it looks really gorgeous especially on light toned skin and they have now some products that they are the same kind of shade. And this packaging, it's so cute. So I got the Dandelion Side Beam that comes in this packaging. So cute, really. And this is supposed to be a nude pink matte radiance highlighter. And to be honest, in the past I was like obsessed with High Beam. And I still have it in my collection and I'm using it, but I have found a lot of other highlighters that I love. And many of these kind of uh, packets products from Benefit are not my favorite, but like this rose gold packaging, I could not resist. And to be honest, it sounds really intriguing, this nude pink matte highlighter. So I thought that I would try out. 
I am a bit afraid that this will be a fail. I can swatch it actually for you because uh, I don't know, matte highlighters, they are a bit difficult to please me. I really like the glow and I don't know if that will work for me to be completely honest right now that I swatch it on my hand it I'm not really impressed but I will have to play with it and see how I like it and if it works for me and then I ordered two things from Arino and the reason that I ordered them it was this actually I'm stocking the release of this product since really really long and I had seen at Mariano online and also at on the Manor website since even earlier this Urban Decay Afterglow 8 hour powder highlighters but the only shade that I could find available was Sin and I did not want Sin because Sin is a beautiful beautiful shade but it's very very similar to many highlighters I own and also supposedly it's similar to a shade that you can find in the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani uh, Blast palette but the color I wanted was Aura which is supposed to be a light pink highlighter perfect for like cool undertones and light skin and First of all, I love the packaging, it's, it's so great, and uh, this is Aura. I, it's a similar packaging with the Afterglow Blushes that I adore, and this is how it looks, and they keep the same thing for the highlighter as for the blush, so you can, from the color of the sticker, understand the shade of the product, and this is how this looks like and I find this really gorgeous so let me swatch, oh my god, let me swatch this for you and yes, this is indeed a highlighter certainly you can see the glow on this much better than the matte thing from Benefit but this I knew that I would love and uh, I have only worn it once or twice but I find it very very beautiful actually I think it would fit really really nicely with the makeup I have on today and uh, I, I love this kind of shades for highlighting and since I placed the, the order for it I decided to get a Naked Skin Concealer by Urban Decay because uh, I want to try it since long and I never do so I got the Fair Neutral shade. It was, I don't know, I think I want it for my under eye so I went a bit light. I think it should be good and uh, I have not used it, I have not even swatched it and maybe I can swatch it now. I am not very sure if it will fit me. I just ordered it online and uh, yeah, I think for my under eye it will be fine. I just think it's a bit um, yellow based, which is not always my favorite thing. I prefer more neutral concealers, but to be honest, it's also very blendable. I think that it will even fit the rest of my uh, face, so I think that's cool. So I will try this out and let you know. I have a lot of concealers that I'm trying and loving lately, so I thought that I should check this one too. Yes, I know that you are bored with the stuff that I'm showing you so far and you want the Paris stuff. I did not get a huge amount of stuff but I love everything I got. So I'm starting with the Paris pharmacy stuff and this one is the only thing that I have used so far and it's actually the only not so much skincare thing and it's it's by Compete, you can find Compete everywhere the thing was that I went to the pharmacy and I had a list of stuff that I wanted to check out and some of the stuff were repurchases, some were new stuff and one of them was an um, anti-blister cream from a company that I now am not sure about the name I think it's called Aquilon but uh, I could not find it in many pharmacies and then the pharmacist said that I should actually try and use out this one so I thought that I like Compete stuff and I generally trust them a lot and they always work for me I have never noticed that here or in Greece while I'm sure that it should be available 
and it is an anti blister stick actually it says uh, yes uh, stick anti friction anti blister stick and it's it's used so it's not like but it's just a stick that it comes out like that and you just put it on your feet to protect them so that your shoes will not cause any blisters or to help your blisters to disappear quicker and actually this worked because I walked a lot in Paris and uh, I had some blister problem to be honest and I applied this afterwards because I bought it afterwards and it worked quite good I have to say so I'm pleased with this purchase and of course since I went to a French pharmacy I had to go and get my beloved Bioderma they also had it in quite a good deal with the two packets together uh, so I decided to get this one the one that I'm getting is the pink one and I also got a small travel size and from a budget friendly point of view this is not worth the money because I think that I gave something like 6 euros for this and I paid 70 euros for this so that was like ridiculous but to be honest I thought that maybe I can try to refill this every time that I travel and maybe that would be a good idea and I can just keep the small bottle for traveling and uh, I will try to do that. That was the whole point that I wanted the small bottle so that I can keep it for traveling. So these are the Bioderma that I got. You can find Bioderma in Switzerland but mostly in the French speaking part. To be honest I have not seen it anywhere in pharmacies here in Bern or in Zurich or in any other German speaking city that I looked for it. So I thought that it was easy to get it from Paris since I was there plus it was so so much cheaper another thing that you can also find here and it's a classical and I wanted to get it because of course it was much cheaper there it was the Caudalie Beauty Elixir I have been through multiple bottles of this this is for me something that I use as a toner and uh, Sometimes I'm appalled by the scent, it's very herbally and I'm not always so much of a fan of this kind of scent but I love this when I'm sick to be honest so whenever I feel ill, I'm under the weather, I have blocked nose or anything I like to spray my hands and just uh, smell it and then apply it on my face and that always makes me feel so much better and I actually think that I saw this trick somewhere online I really believe that it was Lisa Eldridge several several years ago and this really really works so I had to get one and of course this is always a staple whenever me or any friend of mine visits Paris this is something that I really really need to get and it looks so nice with the blue theme and this is La Rose Posay Zero Zing and it's a zinc sulfate solution cleansing and soothing I love this this is like a toner in spray form I heard about this, actually read about this from Caroline Hirons. I actually have a bottle that I'm using currently from a previous trip. This is so soothing on the skin and it helps a lot for oily, problematic, acne prone skin. I really really love this. Uh, in general, products with zinc in skincare. Perfection for me. And then I got a few things that I have not tried so far. I got a hair product and this is by the company Fito. You can find Fito in many countries or Fito but you cannot find them here in Switzerland at least to my knowledge. Again, they might be available only the French speaking part. I don't go there so so often and when I go it's not that I'm storming in a pharmacy and I'm searching through everything 
So let me comments down below if you know about that, if you know that you can find this in uh, Switzerland. But this is a really natural brand for hair care that you can find in pharmacies. And I'm always uh, hearing great things about this brand. This is uh, the Nourishing Day Cream with 9 plants, Ultra Dry Hair Phyto 9. And it has calendula, sage, burdock, willow, soybean, rosemary, mallow, St. John's wort, and macadamia oil. And I heard about this from um, the um, Model Recommends channel, so Ruth spoke about this and it comes in a tube like that i don't have dry hair but she talked about the phyto 7 and then she compared it with that and she said that this is even more amazing for the hair and actually i find it really a small packaging it's only uh, 50 ml but i still thought that uh, i will try this out because she spoke really really highly about it and uh, I was also searching for the straightening cream because that sounded really interesting but I didn't have a lot of time going to a lot of pharmacies and I could not find it in the ones that I went. Actually, a pharmacy tip for Paris, there are these huge pharmacies in the center that they, like the English pharmacy at Saint Elysee and it's so much more expensive than other local pharmacies that it was crazy for example you could see in the zero zinc price i got this something less than six euros and in the english pharmacy i found it something less than eight euros which is a big difference for something for this price so stuff like that always take a look and just check the prices and there is um this huge pharma city thing that you can find everything but I was not around and it was not in my way so I decided to not go there for this trip so I had to improvise and find some other pharmacies but you can find pharmacies everywhere in France another uh, product that I really wanted to try because I have heard so many brilliant things about it was a deodorant actually and I found it this at the train station at the pharmacy and the company is called uh, Sanoflor and uh, these are natural without aluminium or parabens uh, deodorants I actually like the packaging quite a bit and um, these are like cotton freshness scent and they are roll-ons and uh, they are for sensitive skin they don't leave any trace and they i have read that these are the most brilliant deodorants out there so i'm always searching for a good deodorant and i wanted to try this out so i will let you know about that and this is another French cult product and it's homeoplasmin I have never tried this. This was dirty cheap. It was something again like five, six bucks for dry skin, dry lips, burns and everything. Some people say that they use it as primer. I don't know if I would want to do that because I imagine that this would be quite thick and uh, now it's sealed and I don't want to open it yet. But they people say that every French woman has one of these at home and this is really really perfect for sensitive skin that gets irritated easily so I thought that I should give it a go and the last thing is uh, um, the A313 pomade that I got from the pharmacy and this is supposed to be a cream that was released in place of Avibon. So Avibon was a vitamin A cream and uh, it's not available anymore I believe anywhere. So this is a vitamin A uh, synthetic concentrate and uh, this also is indicated for irritated skin 
but it's also a great face cream if you want to use vitamin A face cream and retinoids. Uh, I don't think that it's so easy to find good retinol creams available over the counter. So I wanted to get this and try this. Most reviews that I have found online is not for this one, but they are from Avibon. This cream that was available that I don't know why they stopped it, but to be completely honest, I think that Avibon had like 3 million units and this has 200,000 which is again quite a difference maybe Avibon was more potent but maybe they thought that uh, it was too much I don't know the thing is that I will try this out I will let you know I'm very very enthusiastic about this and supposedly it's very thick so it's something that you wear at night and uh, I will let you know. I'm I'm finishing up some skincare that I'm using now, and I will I will start trying this quite soon. But uh, I want to research a bit more uh, specific instructions about how to use it because using retinols need some uh, precautions. So I will keep you informed about this. And they gave me quite a few samples from the pharmacy, especially the local pharmacy around where I live. So they gave me some samples of the Body Lift Expert Cream from Lirac, a lot of samples from the Beauty Revealing Eye and Lip Contour Cream. So I will also use this and uh, let you know what I believe. And then let's go to Sephora. I went to Sephora and got a couple of gifts that I wanted to get and then I was with a specific list of stuff, some of the stuff I didn't find and uh, I can say that many of the things that I wanted I found and I got also one or two small things that they were out of my list. So a Sephora product that I had on my list and I really, really wanted to try is from Formula X line and it's the Delete All 5 Finger Nail Polish Remover. So it's this huge thing and it reminds the classical Sephora uh, nail polish remover. I have not opened it yet. I will do that soon. And supposedly you can just put all five of your nails and swirl them and take the glitter. It's mainly the glitter, right? Nail polish off. And I really, really wanted to try this and see how this works because it sounds pretty interesting and very, very different since you can do it one by one why can you not take the nail polish of all your nails in one hand in one time and uh, this is a product that i showed you in my latest what rocked video i have tried a mini uh, travel size from this it's the peter thomas rose pumpkin enzyme mask and i love this so i had to get the full size which is a 150ml cube and uh, well it doesn't look very fascinating but it looks like this did I say that I had like a sock when I went to the Sephora in San Pelize because this is a huge store and the layout reminded me a lot of what I see from photos and videos from the American Sephora stores. It didn't remind me any of the other European Sephora stores that I have been, not even like huge ones that I've seen in Barcelona or in other places. And it was crazy. Very loud music, a lot of people shopping, but also a lot of employees like I think they were more than 60 people working there at the time it was really really crazy and uh, anyway this is the Peter Thomas Rolf pumpkin enzyme mask it, it looks a bit disgusting but uh, and it smells like pumpkin but it works really well and uh, I loved the travel size so I wanted to try the full size 
Another thing that I really, really, really wanted to get and I know that I have a lot of foundations that I'm trying currently but I have not really had a stick foundation actually that's a lie I have tried the Fit Me stick foundation but I'm only using that for contouring because I got it in a very dark color but I have heard so many people raving about this actually when Makeup Forever released the new HD foundation a lot of people said it's not as good as the old version but the stick people say that it's phenomenal so I actually got this one the day it arrived at Sephora they didn't even have it at the counter she had it in the drawers and I guess it just came in Europe I don't know and she told me that she will help me match my skin because there were not even any uh, testers yet out so I hope this will work it actually looks that it will work and I got the 117 shades and it looks like this the quantity is really really small what I also like is that it has a cap I actually like this a lot and this is the color because we searched a lot and we wanted something neutral that will not be really yellow tone because I hate that but also it will not be really dark but like the quantity this is a joke for this whole, okay it's a bit more, but for this whole packaging this is the actual quantity of product but to be honest I will try it once or twice as a full face foundation but I mainly want it for tap taps because that's how Makeup Forever also talks about it as a touch up foundation so Let's see how I would like it and I will of course let you know for all the products. A product that I was not planning to get but I know, I don't know, but I just decided to go for it. It's from Marc Jacobs and I was standing at the counter and it looked glorious. So many amazing things and I was thinking if I want to get, you know, this huge packaging that it has with the bronzer and the highlighter mainly because it looked cute and at the end I decided to get this which is the undercover perfecting coconut face primer in the shade invisible I think it's only one shade and first of all the packaging looks so cute so fancy and uh, I love this and it smelled okay I expected that it will smell more like coconut now I cannot even pump it it looks like this it reminds me a lot when I tried my really really beloved hourglass primer it doesn't really smell so much like a coconut maybe just a bit and uh, because my hourglass primer is actually at the last few drops I decided to go for this one and try it. I think now I'm having like a thing with very high-end primers, also the Guerlain primer and now this. I really feel like I want to try all of them that I see available and that's, that's not a good thing. But I decided to go for that. This is uh, the last thing that I really really wanted to get and I got. So they had a huge stand with the Sephora brushes and they had a lot of brushes that I have not seen in Greece but uh, I have seen available in the US website and uh, the thing that really caught my attention and I really wanted to try is this one also because it's small and I like small brushes and it's called Pro Contour Kabuki and it's the Kabuki Contouring 82 brush. I like how it's packaged and uh, the, it looks very unique. It also had a similar contouring brush like that. You can see how interesting this looks. It looks a bit gimmicky but I don't have something like that and I really want to, to try to use this for contouring. First of all it's so soft, it's great and it, it has this wave so it's I don't know but I really like the shape and I think that the handle of the brush 
it's really interesting so I like the fact that it's small and still it's quite large from this dimension so I think it would be very interesting to try to do my contour with this and as I said it's something that I have never had something like that and like the case is great and it gets every single hair in and it's perfect perfect to use it when you travel I believe and you just put it in and clean brushes when I was waiting to pay they have this little small stuff around the cashiers and uh, it reminds me a lot like the American ones as I said and I got two products this is the Makeup Forever Mist and Fix uh, uh, Makeup Setting Spray Long Lasting and Moisturizing I actually wanted the small Urban Decay All Nighter but I could not find it and this is actually perfect it's 30 ml and then I can travel with this all the time and I thought that uh, I can refill it all the time instead of getting my all-nighter with me and I got a small perfume this is by Escada and it's the Born in Paradise and in the past every summer I was getting the um, summer Escada release this smells really fruity and very beautifully it has 10 I guess no 7.4 ml it's not a roll-on, which I actually prefer the sprays that they roll-ons and I think that I found my summer fragrance and uh, I never finish up a whole bottle of perfume, especially in the summer and I have a lot of perfumes that I use so this looked really cute so I decided to go for it and use this one and I have two last products and they are from a company that I really wanted to try since long I didn't know that I could find them in Sephora and this is a US brand and first of all I love the name it's Lipstick Queen I know that you can find them in UK and I always had them in my wish list whenever I visit London but since I found them in Paris I said that I will try them and I love the packaging so so much they have these different lines even like the boxes look amazing so this is uh, it just says lipstick not very helpful I don't know the different name of the lines so this is called Sai and it has these beautiful butterflies on and uh, I am not sure if all the products of this line look the same but this is the packaging which looks fantastic and it's this metal thing and this is the color and actually they also had very creamy ones and very matte ones and everything but what I wanted to get is this ones can you see the iridescent sparkle in the lipstick so I swatched that and I was in love with that and uh, I thought that I have a lot of matte lipsticks and of course I would love a matte lipstick from this company but this can you see this now like it's full of iridescent glitter and I really really love it and since I said about iridescent then my eye fell on this one which is called Ice Queen this is just amazing and it was in together with a few other that's called like the classics or something like that and this is a white iridescent lipstick that of course I'm not planning to wear alone but I'm planning to pair it with other aha uh -huh. this line was called butterfly ball so that was Sai and this is uh, ice queen this is just like the packaging is so fantastic and this is how it looks this is so unique I have never seen something like that I don't know if you can see it when I swatch it you can see this white light gold is and I think this is will be very transforming actually now I'm wearing a pigment over my lipstick but I think that I could wear this and it would have a very similar effect and uh, that's it! I think these are all the stuff that I had to show you in this whole video. I know that it's a very long and it's a large haul and uh, 
there were a ton of stuff that I wanted to try. So give me your opinion. Leave me your comments down below. Tell me if you have tried any of this stuff or not. Tell me if you have ever visited the Sephora store in San Elise because it's really, really an experience, I believe. And this specific one especially. And um, let me know what you think. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to my channel for more videos to come. And we will talk soon in another video. Until then, many, many kisses.